Well, hello there, people. Uh, today, we're going to be working on uh, another VEX code VR Python project. And so we're going to get started. We're going to do one of the challenges. Uh, this time, we're going to put a little spin on it using Python and something that we couldn't do before. Okay, hope you enjoy this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, look at my screen. I'm going to load a file uh, from my device. So I'm going to open up the basic b-ball drills live, whatever it's called, okay? Uh, there's a link to the description in the video for this file, so you could just download it as well. And uh, you could do that, or you could just go ahead and build it real quick. It's pretty simple. I set up a variable, uh, 200. I uh, set this to repeat nine times, and we're using just the regular grid map. So let me go ahead and, where did my grid map go? <laughs> All right, it's because, I think it's because I'm zoomed in. There we go. So this is my grid map going. Let me go ahead and fast forward so you can see the final result. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I guess it's done. Uh, so anyway... That is basically what we've got here. We've got it repeating uh, nine times, so we're making nine lines. Uh, each of those lines is 200 more than the next. And you can see that in our blocks project, that's exactly what we were looking for, okay? So let's say we wanted to make every single time it drew a line to draw it in a different color. Sequentially go through, say, like red, green, blue, right? I like that because it's RGB, um, and that's you know what all the colors are made of. So we have the ability in VR, uh, in VR to do black, red, green, blue. Uh, I want to do the first time I want it to go through, I want it to go through as red. Okay, so now if I change this here, you can see that I would have to create multiple different uh, repeats here. Uh, it would get really messy uh, if I would maybe could put in like an if statement. Um, it would just be, it would be a lot. So once you have this open and you have this here, click on the little code brackets up here in the upper right to get look at the code viewer. And just kind of take a look at it and just make sure that it's kind of what you want before you click convert to text. I highly recommend that you download the blocks uh, version so that if you mess something up in the text, you can always go back and load the blocks version, okay? So I'm gonna say discard because I already have it saved. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna uh, increase the, the size a little bit so we can look at it together. Uh, define when started, uh, global variable set, uh, the variable set as uh, zero right there. You know, I, it's probably best practice to leave it as zero, but I don't know, I usually wanna keep it as simple as possible. So since I'm already defining it there, I'll set it like that. Now when you're beginning, anytime you make a change to the text, I want you to click start and let it run and make sure that you didn't mess anything up, all right? If something was wrong in the syntax or the way that the text was supposed to be displayed, you would get an error message. Since we didn't get an error message right now, I'm gonna assume that everything's okay. So here's where we want things to change, right? I, I see here that I have a for loop and it's setting up a repeat underscore count. Uh, I'm gonna change that because it's just a little clumsy for me to keep re, uh, writing repeat count. And I'm gonna just change that to I. So for I in range nine. Now that means zero to nine. The number that's put in there is not counted. So what you're gonna end up having is you're gonna have, uh, it's gonna start out I as zero, and then I is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is nine times, because you start at index zero, okay? so. For I in range is nine, and then I'm gonna put in another uh, uh, conditional statement here. I'm gonna put in if, and then in parentheses, I'm gonna put the condition. If the value of I is equal to, now notice I put a equals equals. That's because it's a comparator. Look at the top where you see my variable equals 200. All right, that is where I actually uh, set the value of my variable. I used equals to assign the value. When I'm comparing something, I wouldn't use equals because that's used for assigning. 
what I'm using is equals equals, which is like saying, and in my mind, I think of it this way, is equal to. So it's like longer. It doesn't say it, it's equal to, it is equal to, like are we, we're comparing it. So I'm going to say if I is equal to zero, then I want, and I'm just going to go down here to the next line, I'm going to push tab to indent. I want the color of my pen to be red. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do. All right. So it's only going to set the pen color to red, which, you know, by default, it starts out as black. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set it to red and then push play. Now I should see if I've done this right. Okay. And see, this is common. Well, it's common when you're starting out anyway, of getting an error here. All right. So we threw an error or error. It's behind my head. Let me move my face here. Okay. And it says, let's look at it. It says trace back most recent call last line six. Uh, if I is equal to zero and then look where that little tiny arrow is. It's saying invalid syntax. Okay. So I see what I did there. I forgot to put in a colon. All right. The proper syntax for these uh, statements is to put in a colon. And you can see that where it says for I in range is nine, right after it has that little colon. So I should have put that in for my if statement. So I'll put that in, I'll push start, and I dealt with my error, and now I should be working fine. I can't see my robot because, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so it switched to red, and now I know that that worked. So if it was zero, it switched to red. Now it's staying red because I didn't tell it to switch back to anything else. All right. But now the thing is that if I want it to switch, <laughs> a loop back without a wait statement. Okay, that's interesting. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to control C and control V. Oh, you know what? Here we go. Okay, you might have to work with some of the spacing. I'm going to push backspace. Okay, in Python, the indentation matters. Indentation means like on the next line, how far over it goes. Uh, so you need to be very careful on your indentation. All right, so now if it is, if I is equal to one, because this for loop right here, each time it goes through and runs it, that I in range is changing. So it goes through the first time and I is zero. And so that way it's going to change it to red. The second time it goes through and I is going to be one. And so I want it to change to green. Not green, green. There we go. And this autocomplete is helpful because it tells me I've, I've gotten it right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click start and let's make sure that that works. Okay, I got red and we switch, switch, switch to green. There we go. We switch to green. Awesome. And then it's going to stay green. Right. Okay. So let's go back in here and I'm going to copy this again. This is not necessarily, well, this isn't the best way really to do this, but I'm doing it this way because we're new and we're still figuring stuff out. And I want you to remember how to do it this way because it may be useful again in the future. And it also help us understand how the better way works. Okay, so we'll say red, green, and blue. Uh, and we want it when this is equal to two. So line zero, line one, and line two, that's a total of three lines, should get red, green, and blue. There we go. Now they're all gonna be blue for the rest of the, the whole time, right? Now I could come in here and I could say, uh, put another if statement, could put in another if say statement saying, you know, if, uh, you know, if it's three, if it's four, if it's five, if it's six, it's seven, eight. Okay. But that's going to be kind of messy. So I know that I want the red line is going to be the zero line. It's going to be the third line or the number three line. So notice I have if I is equal to zero or I is equal to three or I is equal to, what would it be? Uh, three, it would be 
four, five, it would be six, right? And then seven, eight, and then nine, right? No, I think I did this wrong. No, because there is no nine. Nine won't draw, it'll be only be eight, okay? So I'm gonna have three lines. I'm gonna have zero, three, and six are going to be red lines. And then I'm gonna come down here to this if statement and say, or if I is equal to four, or I is equal to seven, and then down here and say, or I is equal to five, or I is equal to eight. Now this should be all I have to do to get all nine of my lines to be red, green, and blue. Uh, I can let, th let this run and let's go ahead and fast forward so that you can uh, not have to fall asleep like I do while I'm waiting for my robot to finish the program and we'll fast forward now. What happened? What happened? Why did it stop there? Okay. Anyway, let's let's take a look. Oh, oh, okay. It's my computer. Oh, struggling. Get there to the last one. There we go. All right. So it worked. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is what I wanted to show you is... Um, why I keep getting this error message is because I guess I don't have a long enough wait in those in the loop. Um, whatever, let's not worry about it for right now. Uh, it's something we can worry about later. But anyway, the point is that we are successful here in changing the color of the pen each time it goes through that iteration, each time it goes through that uh, for loop, and uh, it changes. Um, based on what index number we are on in the loop. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, in the comments below. Uh, you know, please keep your comments kind and respectful. If I've made a mistake, please let me know, uh, and I would be happy to correct them or um, you know, leave me constructive criticism about the quality of the video or anything that you like. Uh, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe if I've earned it. And uh, you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.